Peter Delapena here with Papua New Guinea under-19 head coach Andy Bickle after the team's very exciting six-run win over the United States under-19 squad here on the second day of the 2011 ICC under-19 World Cup qualifier. Congratulations. It was a very, very, as I said, exciting match. What was it like for you watching it from the sidelines? Oh, look, it's a little bit frustrating, I suppose. The boys are still learning the game and uh, field placements and bowling changes, and all those sorts of things going on, and I think they're learning that very quickly. Uh, I think from Papua New Guinea, I took over two years ago. Um, they struggled with all of that, very very much so. But, um, look, today they, they made some tactical changes throughout the game, and, um, you know, look, let's not forget Stephen Taylor's innings. Um, amazing innings, really. Um, he hit the ball with power. Uh, he's, I think he's still only 17, so look, he's got a bright future if he can keep everything together, but he's got the right... Um, things about his, his game at the moment and who knows uh, uh, down the track where he, where he could end up if he, uh, if he does so. But um, look, it was an awesome game of cricket and um, it's nice for us to come out with, uh, with a win. I thought one of the major differences in deciding factors in the game uh, was the opening partnership between Charles Meany and Lega Sayaka. Just the running between the wickets, converting ones into twos, twos into threes. They just ran hard the entire time, 135 run partnership. And they really stole a lot of runs, and you guys saved a lot of runs in the field. What kind of preparation did you have before this tournament to, to get these guys fit and conditioned and ready to play in, in these uh, foreign conditions? Yeah, we're pretty lucky. We've had our captain and, uh, and vice-captain both playing in Scotland. So um, uh, they've been up there playing league cricket. And um, the other boys, uh, we've had them back home in, in, in Papua New Guinea playing uh, in a training camp and then several matches as well uh, leading in. So we had... Uh, uh, an emerging player uh, training camp a few weeks ago, and there were some games there with uh, that was mixed in with Fiji players, uh, Vanuatu players from the senior level, like uh, playing against our younger players. So, pretty good preparation, really, um, uh, from our point of view. Yeah, look, the funding uh, we'd love to be able to be here for another week or so beforehand, before the tournament, to get really everyone used to these conditions. But um, that's not there for us just yet, uh, in funding wise, to, to do that uh, at this level. Um, but look, we're, we're trying to get there in the right direction so that can happen in the future and um, teams will come here with, uh, with knowledge and conditions or, and wickets of um, what, what to, be, to expect in, in tournament. What was going through your head? You mentioned Stephen Taylor's innings. Uh, when he was at the crease, he was dropped uh, by the keeper in, in, on 64 and then he kept on going past the century and it looked like when he was at the crease, as long as he was there, USA was going to win the match. What was going through your head as, as his innings was developing? Yeah, we kept on taking wickets the other end, so that was the that was the key and putting a bit of pressure on. Even um, there was some dot ball pressure in the middle um, that really uh, uh, put him under a lot of pressure. I think there was two run outs uh, that cost cost his partners there just through um, that that pressure that was applied to the new batsman. Um, so yeah, in the end, I think it was his wicket was the key wicket, and, and full credit to the boys at the end. You know, they come in and just threw the bat at it. Uh, the power play field was up, and um, they got a few lucky ones, and they also hit some nice balls. So. Um, got them back in the game and, and nearly gave themselves a chance to win. Two years ago in this qualifier in Canada, similar match went right down to the wire and you guys won by one wicket in the final over. Here again goes down to the final over. You guys win by six runs with four balls left. Why has your team been able to hold their nerve right up until the end of the match? Oh, I'm not sure uh, about, about that, but I'm, I, I think uh, there's a bit of spirit that comes through. Uh, you just probably seen it there at the end of the match. Um, it's PNG's got that unique spirit. They're, they're great to watch. Um, they, they play in the right vein as well. They, you know, they're just out there trying to enjoy every every moment. And um, I, I just think that you know that probably maybe in the end that that might be the difference. I think any any team that I've played in, you know, that team spirit and team passion, wanting to do it for each other. Uh, if you can have that, it's, it, it is special. And I think. PNG um, country itself, the way they play their game of cricket at senior level and, and also under 18 level, they have that. So it, it is special and that's one little advantage for them moving forward. Raymond Hayoda took three wickets today, opening burst, really set the tone at, at the start of the second innings. He was the leading wicket taker in the under 19 World Cup in New Zealand. Why has he been able to develop so quickly and, and, and so well through your program? Yeah, look, Raymond's um, someone we've invested in. He showed signs in the Under-19 World Cup that he had potentially to be a, a player of the future. Um, he's been in Australia um, pretty much on a scholarship um, out there with the, with the Queensland, Queensland Bulls, and he's been training in and around that squad and in, in, in their gym, and um, uh, he played great cricket in, in Brisbane last year. So he's, he's spent a bit of time away. He's um, learned a few things, and he's, he's improving, and um, 
you know, he's an exciting young talent for us. Um, you know, he got the ball through nicely today and with a little bit of swing away. And, um, uh, you know, there's a bit of respect going on there with, uh, with Steve and T Taylor as well. Between the two, there's a bit going on. So it was really good to see two young, talented players um, going head to head. You had a loss yesterday against them. Maybe you bounced back today with the win. What is your outlook over the next seven games for the rest of the tournament for your team? Yeah, well, today we started to do things that we, we come here to do. Um, yesterday we probably let ourselves down a bit, got caught, uh, you know, that cold, you know, not to make excuses, but that cold sort of uh, Irish conditions um, that our boys just aren't used to and we just probably, probably didn't feel as well. We didn't, even though we didn't feel that well today, but we started to get partnerships in the batting and partnerships in the bowling and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's starting to come, to come together. This is what we, we came to do and, um, you know, today was the first time we showed signs that we're, we're, we're heading in the right direction. So. Look, if we can continue those sorts of things right throughout, improve our fielding and um, continue the batting and bowling uh, from from today, and hopefully this will give us a bit of momentum moving forward. All right, Papua New Guinea under-19 head coach Andy Bickle, thanks a lot for your time and congratulations again on a fantastic win. Don't worry, thank you.